what's up it's your girl Shelly here and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna create this bomb diggity makeup look for you guys this look can be either worn to prom if you guys are going to prom you can wear this look to a military ball a banquet wherever you guys are going it doesn't matter a wedding it doesn't matter where you guys are going this look is really appropriate for just any kind of major event where you just want to look glam you want to look smoky you want to look beautiful I created this look today for my bombshells that are going to prom I don't know if you guys can see my dress but it's like ill outside right now and I really want to show you guys my outfit but anyways without further ado if you guys are interested in seeing how I came up with this look please continue to watch don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit it already like this video share this video comment down below tell me which look you guys want to see next and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it I forgot to mention to you guys if you're going to prom Put your hair up if you're wearing a weave or if you're wearing a wig that's not glued down. I highly suggest you take it off. Don't do your makeup in your prom dress. Don't do that. You're just going to end up messing it up. I was working with glitter today. I was working with a lot of powder today. And when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm going to an event, I don't like to have my stuff on. So therefore, I stripped down for this video. I'm wearing a t-shirt with my hat just stripped down so that everything is out of my way so that after the mess I can clean up before I actually put my clothes every on every single time I film there's something in my eyes there's something on my face there's something in my nose like I just can't no more <laughs> my brows are already done and I just add some concealer to my lids I use the Kat Von D concealer because you want something that is gonna last all night honey and if you guys can go in with um your eyeshadows on your lids with just concealer god bless you you guys know that it's not the case for me so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that real quick with some Laura Mercier setting powder all right so for this look I recommend that you guys get something with like a lot of neutral colors a lot of brown shades I'm gonna be taking one of my all-time favorite this is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette so I'm gonna start with this shade right here which is um, this shade that is called buns I'm just gonna use that as my transition color with a fluffy blending brush if you have a lighter skin tone or a darker skin tone you can vary with your transition color you don't have to use the same exact one that I use spend a lot of time blending out your shadows because you want everything to look seamless all right, so the next shade I'm gonna take is this one right here. It slightly has a orange undertone. It's called Roxanne, and I'm just gonna mix this in with buns just to brighten it up a little bit. Add a little bit of color too far up. I'm staying directly in my crease and blending it right into that first shade. All right, so now that we have our first color down pack, I'm going to go into this shade right here in the palette. This shade is called Chip. It's a really deep brown color, and I'm going to put that right on the outer corners of the eye and then the inner corners of the eye. Then I'm just going to connect the two right in the crease. Of course, you always want to go back in with that first blending brush and just get any harsh lines that might have formed. I'm going to deepen these colors a little bit more. So I'm going to go into this shade right here in the bottom of the palette. This one kind of has like a purple undertone and this shade is called Soda Pop. I'm just going to take a little bit on the same brush and put it all right in the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyes. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend, blend it out. Okay guys, so the next step that I'm going to do is cut out or carve out my halo effect. And I'm just using the same Kat Von D concealer. And I'm just going to take that on like a little flat brush. Look downwards and I'm going to cut it right here in the center. I'm just going to use the brush to just 
kind of like smudge out the sides. I'm not adding any extra products because I just want to use the concealer as like a guide just to get in the center. Then I'm going to take um, my Too Faced glitter glue. You can use any glitter glue you have. I know the drugstore has quite a few that you can use as option, as a different option. You don't really have to buy an expensive one. I just bought this one a long time. I bought this one a long time and this is the only one that I have so I'm just going to use that and dab it right on top of the concealer with my fingers. I'm going to use this glitter from MAC. Um, I've had this now for years and this is in the color gold. It's a really beautiful gold color glitter. I'm just going to take this on like a little flat brush. Take whatever I have in the cap. It's not very much in the cap. Take whatever I have in the cap and then I'm just going to start patting that right on the center of my lid. All right, you guys, so to start off with my face, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize, and I'm gonna use this Cloudy moisturizer that I got from Sephora. This is like a little sample size that I have, and you can use any moisturizer of your choice. This is the one that I have, so I'm just using this to moisturize my face. Then I'm gonna go right underneath my eyes, and I'm using this Estee Lauder Resilience Lift Cream. This is just going to help me to look super firm underneath my eyes, kind of like I got a Botox. I kind of want to get under eye fillers because my under eyes is just getting a little bit too wrinkly for my liking. But who got money for that? Like, I sure don't. I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Primer only because I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. You guys know that I love this combo together. And I'm just going to be pressing it into my skin. Before I go in with my foundation, I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. Just to add a little bit more moisture to my face. I'm going to be using my Fenty foundation. You guys know that I am in the shade 420 in this foundation. And I normally just apply a coat and let it dry. And then I apply a second coat because it's medium to full coverage. This is the one coat of foundation, you guys. How does it look? It looks good. I'm not gonna add any more. I'm not gonna add any more because I don't want my face to look super cakey. I use the same Kat Von D concealer. I feel like Kitty Cat <laughs> with the little thing right here. I really have to do that to my upper lip because I don't know, it just seems a little bit darker from the other day. If no, this is a a real techniques sponge. While my concealer sit and set, I'm gonna go in with my black opal foundation stick, and this is in the color suede mocha, and I'm going to warm up the crap out of my face. This is getting on my hat. It's messing up my hat. Look at that. Sponge to blend that out. Can you guys see that already? Like, look at that. definition honey let me pull this hat back a little bit there's nothing underneath it guys but my well done edges
I need one of those little tiny beauty blenders to like blend this out because every time I come in here I feel like I make a mess and I had one of those tiny beauty blenders I don't know where it went yes this warmth though is giving me life I'm gonna go back over my concealer when you're about to set your concealer you want to go back over it one more time just to make sure that if there's any harsh lines or if anything settled into anything anywhere like any of your creases those are fully blended out so that's what I'm doing here I'm gonna be using my trusty Laura Mercier translucent setting powder if you're going to prom you want to make sure that you're using a setting powder that is that you trust basically so I don't know why from the other day I keep saying basically you want to make sure that you use a setting powder that you trust okay Also gonna clean up my contour on the sides because why not? <laughs> and while we bake, we're going to go ahead and set our cream contour with some bronzer or powder contour, whichever one you want to call it. It's the same thing in my opinion. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, powder bronzer in the shade mahogany and I'm just gonna take it on this round brush and just go right on top of that I'm just using tapping motions because I don't know sometimes I feel like when I go over my cream stuff with my powder stuff and I kind of like swerve it I kind of move the product around and I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna tap it and if you don't want to be bothered with a small brush getting another brush dirty, just squeeze your brush together and get right in there. And right there, honey, we are fully snatched. Alright, so let's dust away this excess powder. Then, of course, you got to set everything into place. You got to blend your concealer with your contour and your foundation and all of that jazz. So, I'm just using this little Laura Mercier puff with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This in the shade Dark Deepest. And I'm just going to use this to press into my skin. And right after that, right after her that I'm gonna go in with some blush because I love blush so much this is the Mac blush in burnt pepper really pretty soft luxury looking like pink blush and I'm just gonna pop it right on my cheeks before I apply my highlights I'm gonna set my face with some Mac fix plus Oh my goodness, I'm using this in the lavender shade and I have to buy this in the full size. It smells so good. While my face is drying from the setting powder, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. This is the Ardell Lashes in the style 252 Mega Volume. I have no words for this lash. It's amazing. Alright you guys, my lashes are on and I just added a little bit of translucent powder right here on my eyes because I don't know who told me not to cut these lashes but they are so uncomfortable. So I highly suggest cutting your lashes it was something that I needed to do but yet I'm sitting here like no, I want them to be full and blah 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 and not cut the damn lashes and now they're like... They just feel slightly uncomfortable. I'm just gonna take the very first shade that I used and pop this right underneath my lash line. The very first shade that I used for my transition color and then I'm gonna take the darker shade and go closer to my lash line. So that's all I'm gonna be doing for my lower lash line. Oh, 
So after that, you want to line your waterline, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have this white liner down there. It's not very bright because I don't want it to be super white, but I just want something to help me to open up my eyes a little bit because I have small eyes, and then with this smokiness, my eyes sometimes can appear closed. So that's why I'm doing this step. I use a small brush now to get in right in here in my eyes and just dust away the powder. So I want to add a pop of like gold in my inner tear duct. So this is the M. Reezy highlighter with Anastasia. I'm just going to take that on a small brush. I'm actually going to damp it with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to pop it right in my inner tear duct. Not too bright. But just something to help to open up right in the corner right here I'm also going to use the Amrezy highlighter today um, if you are my skin tone or darker you kind of have to go super light handed with this highlighter because it could come off some ashy on our skin tone color but I'm going to start super light and then build up to my liking you guys already know what areas of my face I highlight is nothing new if you guys are new to my channel though I highlight both sides of my forehead I highlight my cheekbones everyone highlights their cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and my chin because I want to be extra I'm gonna also take this highlight right on my brow bone I used to highlight my brow bones so much back in the days and now I don't even highlight the darn thing anymore. I'm going to go back in with some more Fix Plus and just spray that on my face. I'm going to stay away from my face so that it's not like directly on my face. Alright, I am done setting my face. I'm not going to use any more setting spray. Now I'm going to go in and do my lashes. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my lashes and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish primer for your lashes I've had this thing for so long now and I've never done this before and I see a lot of people um, saying that it really really works so I'm gonna do that today I'm gonna start it on my falsies and then I'm gonna take it on my lower lash line I'm now going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to use this all over my lashes, my falsies, my lower lash line. I'm going to put this, this stuff everywhere because this stuff is amazing. For my lips, I'm going to start out by lining my lips with the Kylie Lip Pencil in True Brown K. You guys know this is my Holy Wear Lip Pencil. I'm going to try to do a better job today of lining my lips properly because whenever I line my lips, it just looks like a hot mess. For my lip color today, I'm going to use the MAC lipstick in Whirl. And you can leave your lip like this if you like. It's like a really nice brownish with a pink undertone nude. But I want to have glossy lips. I want everything to be glossy and glowy and just like so pretty. I'm going to add the Fenty Gloss Balm on top. I'm going to add a little bit of a Beauty Mark on right here. One right over here. And I put one right in here. Ooh, those are so cute. Let me do my hair and I'll be right back. So that wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys love this look as, as, as much as I love it. And if you guys are going to any kind of prom or event or a wedding or wherever you guys are going to, I hope that you guys have fun, laugh, take lots of pictures, like, I don't know, just have fun. And <laughs> bye guys, I'll see you in my next video.